folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 206, Nasdaq's off 93, S&P's off 17 and a half, gold contract down $12.90, trading at 1725 an ounce. We have silver up uh, for 64 cents, 25 dollars 10 cents an ounce. Late three crude getting smoked again, down 390. $57.65 a barrel notes and bonds. You hit the 10 year up 12 ticks, 131.30. The 30 year up uh, 30 points, 36 rather, almost a point at 156.06 and King Dollar. King Dollar's caught a bid out here that's up 572, trading out at 92. <coughs> Excuse me, folks, 313. The Euro is out here at 118. The Yen is at 108.69. The British Pound's at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. It was a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, you're still at highs. You got a sideways move out here today. You got a sideways move with light volume. That's saying we're going to higher highs. Uh, bottom line is that we got the spy got up to a price point of yesterday of three ninety four. You did 74 million shares. You're backing down with 51 million. Didn't get over the high, so it's a back down with light volume. It wants higher price. NDX 100, this is going to be the coolest one, no doubt. This has been a uh, trip in itself, meaning that first off, how we came down off the highs. If we take a look at the Qs, we uh, established a high out here at 338. You come down hard and fast into the 299, uh, 297 which the NDX loves to do. That 297 bottom line was just going back to the breakout area. And what we're talking about, you get major, basically support, especially the first time down at that level of the 297. It rejected lower price, takes off again, top side again, then does an ABC structure on the way up. What does that mean? That means it took out B point out, took it out with volume, then gave it up in price. That turns it into a complex ABC structure. What do we do? You go higher again yesterday, you take out the B point again, you take it out with volume again, bottom line is NDX 100 wants to go to 333, and right now you're at 318. So this is gonna be wild watching this whole thing shake out because um, you know the bottom line is that it came down so hard, you came up to resistance, you got to the top of resistance, that's where it gave it up. Now just getting to the top of that resistance, folks, the first time up is a big deal. Most times, when you get heavy selling, which we got in the NDX 100, when you're coming into that area, normally it's the bottom of those bars. And in this particular case, the NDX 100, we were trading there for five days. So it's pretty impressive that it could actually get up to the top of it. Gold. Gold contract right now is down 13 bucks. You've done 62,000 contracts. Um, for the dollar being up this high, it's not bad with gold. Gold is actually happening because the dollar has caught a good bid. Uh, you are up 581 right now. We're at 92,323. That brings the swing point that, that was established out here two and a half weeks ago in play again, which is the 92,500. Now, let's go to that oil market because this is about as intense as you get, uh, meaning you have oil, which supplies energy for the world, and we have, in the course of five, four trading days, uh, we go down last week from 64 to 58. You do a, a small bounce up there to 62, and then you just get whacked once again, four bucks. This contract here, um, 53 is game. Right now, you're at 57.55. And actually, let me just see if we got... A, yeah, you know what? Oh, man, look at this. Let's see. So you'd need 729,000. I don't think we're going to get that, but it's almost an ABC structure down, meaning the first leg down, folks, had 729,000 contracts traded. We have 671. We will not get uh, up to that uh, 729 in the next uh, 45 minutes. If we did, then you get a large ABC structure down. My take is that what you're going to see here, which the indices themselves have been doing, 
is that you're going to go back to a breakout area inside of the oil market, and that's going to lay up at about $53. We go into the note and bond market. We take a look at it. Uh, note and bond market, what you have there is that we get the 10-year note up 12 ticks. The, this is the, uh, you know, you get a, well, it's, it's the third day that you, you get a little juice in it. And we'll see whether you get follow-through. If you got one more follow-through day on price inside of the 10-year, you're going to break the downtrend that has been in place. Well, the downtrend's been out there for about six months, okay? Um, the downtrend that I'm talking about, however, uh, would get you to 136. And right now you're at 130, 130. The cool thing about what's happening inside the note and bond market is that you don't have to be right in the context of do we have a change of trend? Because right now it's gone down so dramatically that it can be just a dead cat bounce. But on a dead cat bounce, because we've down, we've come down so dramatically, um, you, you can trade it. That that's that's my take on this baby. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's see what we have uh, inside of the high volume equities. You got. Uh, well, GE's down 49 cents. That thing's such a dog. Carnival's off two bucks. You get Freeport Mac Moran down 265. Tesla's off 10 bucks. We have uh, Micron Technology down 571. Let's go over to Micron because we know the chip business. We got a shortage of chips. Bottom line, they're in a commodity business. We're going to go from a shortage of chips probably to a, a glut of chips. The real question is, is that is that four months, five months, six months? Where is that at? Uh, what we do have is that. Micron Tech has a high volume high at 81.46. Right now you're at 85, and that's the consolidation that it's been. I suspect uh, what you're going to see is it's going to walk itself right down to the lower end of that consolidation. We go over and take a look at uh, Amazon, the king dog, of course, inside of retail. And uh, Amazon up $37. Uh, we are going to, oh, look at this, 3.1. I don't think it's going to do it, but Amazon's a, if Amazon did 3.1 million shares, it'd be an ABC up. We're only at 2.6, so I don't see that. But the bottom line, Amazon did reject lower price at the lower end of its consolidation. Classic setup, bottom line, higher price coming at us. Stay right there, folks. We've got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. We're going to be talking about riding that Chapman wave. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 265, the Nasdaq's off 127, S&P's are off 26, there right there.